Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to use the draft tool in Onshape. Uh, and this tool is used to add a draft angle to one or more selected faces uh, of a shape that we've uh, created in Onshape. So what that means is it creates a, a slope uh, from that shape. So to start off with, I'm going to create a cube uh, as an example, and then I'll add a draft uh, angle to that cube. So I'll click on sketch to create a sketch and I'm going to work on the top plane. So I'll select that and I'm just going to create a center point rectangle. I'll click in the origin there and draw it out from there. And uh, I'll turn this into a square. So I'll type in the dimensions for each side and I'll just make that the same. So 70 by 70 and then extrude and I'll select that face that I just made and I'll extrude that to a depth of 70 millimeters as well. So uh, now it's a, a cube. All right, so there we go. That's my, that's my cube there. All right, so the draft tool can be found up here on the toolbar. I'll select that. And there's two things uh, that we need to do. First thing we need to set the neutral plane. So neutral plane is the pull direction. Uh, so I'll show you a couple of examples of this. Uh, firstly, I'll start with the top plane. So let's click on that and now that's become the neutral plane and entities to draft. So these are the faces that we want to draft. So we can select one or more faces. So I'll select the, uh, this front face here to begin with. And I can see it's added a, a small uh, draft angle there of three degrees. So just to make that a bit more, a bit clearer, I'll uh, use a greater angle there. I'll choose, I'll enter in 15 degrees. And now we can see there um, it's applied a draft angle of 15 degree to that face, 15 degrees to that face there. If I just rotate here and go into the right view, we can see that there. Okay, so uh, we can actually click this little button here to switch it and make it go the opposite direction as well. All right, so um, it pulls in the opposite direction and we can select more than one face uh, at a time. So I've just got the front face selected at the moment, but while I'm still on entities to draft, I can go around and, and select uh, more faces. Uh, and which one haven't I done yet? This one over here. I think. Yeah, there we go. All right, so there we go. All right, and again, we could do that and uh, click this little button here to switch the direction. Uh, so instead of going outwards, it's going inwards. All right, so it's, we've got a draft angle of 15 degrees on those four faces around um, the, the four sides of that cube. All right, I'll just uh, remove those. So just stick with this front face for now. And I'll go back and click on neutral plane. And uh, this time, instead of selecting the top plane, which I chose initially, I'm going to change it to the right plane. And now I can see that it's uh, rather than pulling um, sort of uh, uh, on the uh, using the top plane as a neutral plane and um, pulling out or in uh, on that front face, uh, it's now going across. All right. So again, I can switch the direction. And we can see it's it's changed sides here for the um, for the draft angle. Okay, so uh, that's basically how to use the the draft tool, and uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.